morning everyone and uh, welcome back to the Western Centurion channel on this beautiful Sunday morning and my second update in two days. What's going on there? <laughs> well, one of the main reasons behind me actually being able to do another video is the fact I can now upload videos a lot quicker than I could before. Um, two weekends ago, um, I had a fiber broadband installed, which has 200 megabyte download speed and at least a 10 megabyte upload speed. Or what I checked this morning is actually 13 megabyte upload speeds. Whereas before, all I had for an upload speed, if I was lucky, would be one megabyte. Sometimes it was just half a megabyte upload speed and for me to put up um, like the video I did yesterday which was about one and a half gig in size that would take anywhere between eight to twelve hours sometimes longer and whilst it was uploaded we couldn't do anything else on the internet you couldn't even browse websites it was just so slow and painful so I had to pick the right times for me to upload which was generally at night when we go to bed but then I do that I get up in the morning and it will still be uploading. Whereas yesterday's video took 17 minutes. That's all. 17 minutes. Absolutely amazing. Um, so yes, yeah, so that means I can do more videos now, hopefully, and uh, get them up uploaded in just a matter of minutes instead of hours. But anyway, it's nothing to do with that. Right, because I've now got the electrics done and happy with that, with that, that's all completed, uh, done and dusted as they say. We can now get cracking on the fiddle yard, and that's what this video is about. Um, my previous video to the one yesterday, uh, thank you very much for all your comments, by the way, on um, the baseboards and recommendations for the, of what I should use for the baseboards. Uh, fully understand where you're coming from, and really, really do appreciate the help and advice that you all give me. Um, I understand obviously about Everyard Junction and the problems he's had with warping um, but then you know looking through his videos particularly some from the very start you can see straight away he's got no insulation in the loft and uh, I know from our loft that at certain times of the year you can go up there and everything's damp to the touch uh, any cardboard up there paper up there is really damp and um, it was also the way he constructed the base unit for the baseboards um, so you know he's learned from that and he's going to redo it and it's because of videos that um, not just the Everyard Junction but lots of people out there into this hobby who have made mistakes and they make these videos and they put them up and we all learn from it and that is why I built such a sturdy base unit um, or carcass unit to build the layout on and I did also have a look at what materials used for the baseboards and uh, I was happy with MDF I've had MDF in here now for must be coming on to 18 months and it's absolutely fine there's no humidity in this garage whatsoever so I, I'm really really not concerned about um, any of the materials in here getting damp at any time um, that was one of the big reasons why I've insulated the garage. I know a couple of things I need to do for the air circulation, but I'll, I will deal with that as and when. But now I will really want to get on with the baseboards, um, or at least the fiddle yard and the inclines, and get some track down. I want to get this whole side of the garage done and ready, so that I can then move everything from there over to here and get started on that side, and then do the uh, lift up sections for the fiddle yard on both ends of the garage. So what I'll do is I will um, get the camera off the tripod and I'll show you what I've done. I made a mock up here, very similar to what was in the previous video, but um, I've actually cut some wood, screwed some wood in place so you can actually see how I plan on making the structure firm enough for the top level baseballs. Okay, so hang on in there and back in the mode. 
Welcome back and as you can see right in front this is what I plan on doing to give a good firm base or structure for the top level baseballs to go on and I do appreciate also that on the the other video I did have said that I have one here and one there and I forgot to mention that that would be I'd have a second one in because pretty much I want them two feet apart or 24 inches apart um, this is just a mock-up this won't be staying here I'll be replacing this um, main beam going across here I'll be taking that out and putting a new one in uh, later on but I just wanted to give you an, an idea on what it is I'll be doing these will be rounded off on the ends here just make you know so you don't bang your head or get caught on them but again with that uh, threaded rod that it is solid and I could have one obviously in there and again every two feet along or 24 inches along I could have another support going through now one of my concerns when I'm looking at this is that if we get down here you can see the incline going up and my concern is if I should have a derailment there it'll be very hard to get that out very hard and it is on this section where the three foot baseball can go right from here onto here without any problem you know it won't interfere with uh, any trains com coming up or down the incline so one decision I'm going to have to make is whether well, just to have stick with a two foot on here or go with a three foot across there and just suck it and see or maybe a section from there to here and then another section from there to there which could be removable if need be um, but I'm not going to worry about that at the moment I'll worry about that when I come to it after I've done the fiddle yard so what I'll do actually I've got um, a that piece of ply there so I'm going to put that ply on top of there so you can see what it's like okay so back in a moment right okay we've got the plywood in place so just to give uh, an idea of how it will work and you can see that is plenty of support for the plywood have a look down the incline now what I have to do I have to make sure the reason for wanting these 24 inches apart is so that the baseboard at the end of the baseboard sits halfway along so that I can screw this in place and then the next piece can sit on there and be screwed into place so I've got to do all those markings out because as you can see here it's not there because it's not measured out properly because I, as I said this is just a, a mock-up to give you all an idea of what it will be like and how it will support the top baseboards now the other thing which I said was that if I pull this out there this is what I was thinking is that maybe do something like this so we've got the baseboard on top like so and then that section I'll have as a lift out section just ideas at the moment nothing's nothing's cast in stone as they say and that's well basically it for the idea of what I want to do um, obviously I have to cut it uh, fit it all the way along here what I want to do in this corner just here is actually bring the baseboard out from here through to there so that helped me with um, some better curves going round and it'll be the same over here 
I'm thinking about bringing a section out from here across to there. Now whether it will be like a triangular shape or a curved shape, I'm not sure yet. But just something so I can bring track round here to take out a sharp curve. curve. Sharp curves, that's better. So you know, I, because I really want minimum of third radius. So, yeah, that is what I'll be going with. And I'll be using the rest of the ply that I've got here. And um, I've got some lengths of two foot by four foot MDF, um, which I won't be using because it's all going to be pretty much three foot. So I'll be having to get some more ply. And that's what I've decided to stick with. Because I will be having heating in here for the winter, so I won't be able to keep it at least six degrees, six, seven degrees throughout the winter. Okay, so um, as soon as I can, I'm gonna start laying some track and uh, getting the um, metal strips down on the incline uh, for the locos that I'm gonna have to use magnets on. And that's it, so anyway, you all have a lovely Sunday. Uh, I'll get this video edited and uploaded and hopefully, only take 17 minutes again. Okay, so catch you all again soon. Bye.